vegan friends, how are you today? Good. And um, meat flakes, how are you today? What's this? Entries in Russian, German, and English. Investigators reported that she recorded even the littlest details of her daily life in this diary, as she did not want to miss a thing. As expected, a proper inspection of the diary provided more proof for the police's investigation. Automated data collection in one place with supermetrics. Animal abuse. Focus on what matters. Get the insights. In one of her entries, Samsonova confessed to killing her former tenant, Sergi. She wrote, I killed my tenant, Volovia. I cut him to pieces in the bathroom with a knife and put the pieces of his body in a plastic bag and threw them away in different parts of the Franzinski district. She also records growing fond of living with Ulanova. As she writes in another entry, I love Valia, as she called her housemate. In a jarring turn of events, Tamara offered to take investigators back to the apartment and demonstrate how she dismembered Ulanova's body using a dummy. She showed them how she cut off parts of the body, starting with her head, and wrapped them in the shower curtain. As Ulanova was too heavy, she was forced to dispose of her legs and hips in the backyard instead of taking them to a farther location. Then, in an attempt to conceal her victim's identity, she boiled her head and hands in the saucepan she had been seen carrying. She threw these into the garbage Thank tip, you. which was taken away every Saturday. More investigations are still being carried out in this case, particularly respect to the disturbing contents of her diary. But investigators have chosen not to reveal details until they're satisfied with their findings. While we already have a few answers, one cannot help but wonder just how, and more importantly, why an average woman from St. Petersburg would take an interest in killing people and meticulously disposing of their bodies in the way that Samsonova did. As it turns out, these questions were answered by Samsonova herself and a few people who knew her. Tamara told reporters herself that she was troubled by a maniac upstairs who pushed her to murder people. According to her, living with Ulanova quieted this maniac, which was why she was defiant when asked to leave. This intertwines with the result of her psychiatric evaluation, suggesting schizophrenia as the basis. Like you, eating corpses, animal abuser, cult follower, cannibal, like this lady. You're eating corpses. You're eating murder over a five-minute burger, chicken, cult follower, 100%. But you pay other people to stab animals because you are a coward. Proxy killing, twice a coward. Crying, crying, actual crying, scared, absolutely scared, poor thing, imagine it was you, the victim, crying because scared, Imagine it was you, the victim, over a freaking hamburger when you can have vegan hamburgers and vegan chicken and vegan pizza and vegan curry and vegan anything you want vegan. You don't stab your dog. You have to pay someone else to stab animals because you absolute coward. I used to be a fl meat flake, but I changed. I don't stab animals now.
grow up and be better than that. Stop hurting animals. One life, you know, one life. Me and you and the animals. One life. It's taken away over a frigging sandwich. Absolute a coward. Change people. Pandemic is animals. You're eating corpses like a psychopath. COVID is animals. You're not supposed to eat animals. You've got flat teeth and long, long stomachs. Not supposed to eat corpses. No fiber and it stays in your body and rots. And that's why you have cancer and heart attack and fat that the fat deposits clog your arteries. You're not supposed to eat corpses, people. Plants have loads of fiber. Um, um, nuts and um, um, sweet potato and it's like a cult follower. 100%. Charles Manson proxy killing twice a coward over a freaking five minute hamburger. Change people. Grow up. Stop murdering innocent animals that did, did nothing wrong to you. Go vegan or you're an absolute coward. <laughs>